All right, so I've got my mic back on my garment and I'm really hoping that this sounds okay. Do not throw tomatoes at that screen, okay? Go ahead and leave me constructive criticism if you don't like it, okay? Now, if you haven't figured out already, I am back. But uh, before this video, I posted a video basically saying that I am back. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, go ahead and tiptoe over, watch that video, and then come on back and hang out with me here, okay? So welcome or welcome back. Child, I don't even remember my intro, so we'll figure things out later on down the road. I'm not even gonna force that on y'all or myself, but I am excited to film this video. So during my hiatus, y'all, I've really been focusing on my current collection and consuming a lot less, okay? I know there are a billion new releases, but I have been restraining with all the might within me. I have been restraining from buying as much as I wanted to buy. Now I have purchased fragrances, obviously, but not at the rate that I was doing in the past, okay? Cause we're stopping that. But in the midst of me focusing on my current collection, I've actually gone through some bottles. So that's what I wanna share with you guys. I also wanna share some fragrances that I have gotten rid of. Like no more hoarding onto things or holding onto things that I'm not feeling anymore. So I had to go ahead and let them go. And then on top of that, like I just mentioned, I've also purchased a few fragrances. So maybe I'll call this out with the old, in with the new. And I'm hoping that this video is not gonna be too long because I wanna kind of condense everything in one video, but it might be smarter to split it up. So don't be mad at me if I show you the newbies in a separate video. Should I just do it like that? I think so. We'll do it like that. So out with the old is first. And then my next video that I'm going to shoot, I'm going to show you everything that I've added into my collection. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm looking down at my phone because I have the list on my phone, obviously, but these are the fragrances that I have sold or given away. Um, and honestly, I've only given away one fragrance. The rest of these, I sold them, baby. Okay. So the first one, and we're not even going to spend a lot of time here. If you want me to go into more details on why I got rid of these, I guess you can leave a comment down below and ask and I'll be happy to answer. But I, for the most part, I just wasn't feeling these and I was just holding on to it for the sake of holding on. But I finally decided you got to go. OK, so the first one and you guys know I voiced this very loudly about my I don't want to say disdain, but dislike for this fragrance. And this is Empathy from the House of Ooh. So, baby. OK, this next one that I sold, y'all. I really tried to hold on to this one, but I finally realized like it wasn't serving me. It wasn't making me happy anymore. But Santal Complet from Fragrance Dubois. That's an expensive bottle. It's a sandalwood fragrance, beautiful scent. It just, it was a whisperer. It wasn't a shouter. It wasn't a screamer. It wasn't even a talker. It was a whisperer of a fragrance. So I just ended up letting that one go. I also sold Rose Trombone from Lorca Stray Parfums. And I enjoyed this fragrance when I first got it, but I don't know if it's because of the maceration process. The rose in there started to smell a little bit too rosy for me. You guys know I still consider myself a newbie in the rose space. Like I can't have a rose leaning too far grandma-ish because we don't vibe, okay? I don't give grandma at all, okay? So if the rose is giving that, she gotta go. So the next one that I got rid of is probably gonna be a shocker because she is coveted in the fragrance community. But I had to get rid of Tibet from Tiziana Terenzi, y'all. I know, I know, I know. But something about the way that sand note was coming through, I, I couldn't. Like, I felt like I was on the beach and I was suffocating from sand. Like, I just, I couldn't take it anymore, so... I said, you know what? I think somebody else will love this just a little bit more than me. So I let that one go. Another one from Fragrance Dubois, Oud Orange Intense. I didn't like how the amberiness and the fruit in this were mixing together. It was just, something was off for me. And honestly, I kind of regret getting this one because I had a choice between getting this one or Oud Jean Intense. And you guys know well, if you don't know now, you're about to know. 
Oh, John Intense is one I have been coveting for a while. I've been yearning for that. But these bottles are expensive. And who's going to spend that kind of money on a bottle? I say that, but I have other expensive bottles in my collection. But you know what I mean, y'all. I would love to have Oud Jaune Intense, and I wish I would have opted for that versus getting Oud Orange Intense. So Oud Orange Intense, I think I sprayed that maybe a total of, and this is probably a stretch, a total of five times. And I've had it for, I think, two, two years, maybe a little over two years. So I knew it had to go. The next one that I got rid of was one that I felt like was overhyped and I didn't understand it because once I finally bought it, I was like, this it? Strychnina, <laughs> okay? So I did a tag video and I talked about like, I didn't understand why this was so hyped. It's a nice fragrance, don't get me wrong, but from all the other feedback that I was hearing, I was like, okay, this one's gonna hit. It didn't hit for me like that. So I was okay with letting that one go. All right, this next one kind of pained me to get rid of, but this was Elixir 11 from Kayali. And what's crazy is I bought this fragrance twice. The first bottle that I bought, my sister came into town, she sniffed it, she loved it, so I gave it to her. And so I repurchased it so I can have one in my own collection for myself. Well, y'all, this new bottle, I think I only sprayed it twice and I had this at least three years. I don't know what it was, but I wasn't drawn to picking this bottle up. So I just finally decided to let go, but it did take me a while to just go ahead and say, put it up for sale. So that is what I did. And then the last one that I sold was La Capitale from Zerja. I just flat out stopped reaching for this fragrance. I hadn't sprayed it in a, like a year and a half. And so I had a come to Jesus meeting with myself and I said, self, what's up with you in La Capitale? If you're not gonna wear her, sell her. So I sold her. And then the last fragrance that I ended up giving away, I didn't sell this one, but that was Danae from the house of Argos. Now I absolutely love that fragrance. And to me, it does smell unisex. However, I feel like it started to lean just slightly masculine on me, which I still didn't mind, but this person that I'm seeing, um, it smelled way better on him. So I was like, you know what? You take this and I'll enjoy it on you versus on myself. So he got that one. All right. So now I want to get into the actual bottles that I have gone through and it's quite a bit. Now I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details. Again, I'm just going to show you the bottle, probably share a little bit. Um, I'm also not going to talk about whether or not I would or wouldn't repurchase because some of these might have already been repurchased. And I want to at least talk about that when I talk about what I've added to my collection. Okay. So this first one, I think I've talked about this on its way to empty on my channel before. I just, I'm not sure, but it is finally empty. And this is Wanted Girl from Azaro. I really, really enjoy this one. This one was kind of like an ambery, caramelly. Mm. This was a good one. I really enjoyed this one. And for a designer fragrance, I think this one was a good one to have in my collection. All right, so we have Valentino Yellow Dream. Y'all, there was a lot of hate on this fragrance. I'm not really sure why, <laughs> but I clearly enjoyed it. Um, this is the smaller bottle. And I think I had this a year, a little over a year, but I enjoyed it. And so I clearly emptied the clip on this fragrance. I know there's a new Valentino Born in Roma. Valentino Born in Roma. I think it's Green Extravaganza. I have not gotten my nose on that, but I do want to sniff that as well. The whole Born in Roma line to me is top tier. So I'm sure I'll enjoy that. Plus, you know, green is my favorite color. So we'll see how that goes. All right, Nude Bouquet from Zara. I think I spoke about this fragrance early on in my on my channel, but this is a really nice, beautiful, light floral fragrance. And there's also a summer version of this, which is a little bit more crisper, a little bit more fresher. I do have the summer version, which was the backup to this. I don't believe that Zara carries this or offers this anymore. This is like some years old, but I have finally gotten through this bottle. And now I have cracked open my backup bottle, which is the summer version. But I really, 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 really enjoyed this one. Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 68. So this was all the rave when it came out. 
A lot of people say it's similar to Baccarat Rouge. I beg to differ. I feel like it leans more towards um, Greenwich Village from Bond Number no. 9. But I have finally gotten through this body spray. I absolutely enjoy this, of course, as a refresher, getting out the shower. Nothing too serious, but this was a good one as well. All right, so these next two, I think I bought these last year and I shared them both on my channel. But these are both from Wilhelm Perfumery. And this is Opus Core and Mango Skin. I love both of these, but if I'm being honest, I enjoyed Mango Skin a bit more. Um, these bottles are just so stinking cute. And this is a great way to try out fragrances from this house without having to dash out that much cash. I think these are like $95 or so, which is still expensive, but you still get the feel and the look of the regular bottles without feeling like you're getting cheated because you've gotten a smaller size or a travel size. So I really enjoy the look of this bottle and the feel of the bottles as well. So both of these were great and I have finally gotten through both of these. Okay, so this next one, 100 Silent Ways from Nishane. Y'all, I love this scent. And at the very beginning, I was like, I don't know why I got the 1.7 ounce versus the 3.4. I think the 3.4 was out of stock when I was looking to buy this when I initially got it. So I just settled on this. And it's been a while since I first purchased this. So I held on to it for as long as I could, but I finally had to go ahead and get through it. Um, but I love this one. This is compared to Black Opium, I feel like it's way better than Black Opium. It's its own fragrance. I'm not even gonna compare it to Black Opium. This is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. And if you have not tried 100 Silent Ways, baby, this is a staple scent for a collection, okay? 100 Silent Ways from Nishane. Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. Y'all know. Y'all know how much I love this fragrance, okay? And I've had this under a year. When did I buy this? It was during one of those Sephora sales. I think it was the one, maybe I've had it right out of here. Cause I think I bought this in, was it April of last year? Or did I get it in the fall? Child, I don't know. But I was opting to get the 50 mil. Um, but when I got to the store, they only had the 3.4. So I said, okay, let me just get the 3.4. I am so glad that I got the 3.4 because it lasted me a little longer. It allowed me to enjoy this a little bit longer. But look at it. It's gone. Okay? Gone. Gone. I absolutely love this scent. And if you ask me, like, top two, top three fragrances from the house, this is definitely up there. <laughs> okay, this is definitely up there. Now, I know another highly coveted fragrance from the from the line is the Wedding Scent, Wedding Santal, Santal, something. I never got a chance to get my nose on it, but I pray to God that Kayali and Mona and the team re-releases that scent because I do want to sample and test and try that out. I've heard so many great things. I don't think I've heard or seen one bad review on that fragrance. I know this one isn't loved by everyone, but it is loved by many. <sighs> this was good, but I want to try that other one. But I said all of that to say that this is up there in my top two, top three. I want to try the Wedding Santal before I make that final decision though. But I just need y'all to know that I got through this one quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, so these next ones that I am sharing with you, I really didn't see the end coming and I'll explain why. So this first one is, y'all, I forgot the name of this, but this is from Mont Blanc, and obviously the bottle is opaque. So here I go spraying, I pick it up, I'm spraying, I'm like, hold up, what happened to the juice? <laughs> I'm like, no, say it ain't so, but I truly enjoy, this is a beautiful, slightly citrusy, musky scent, y'all. I truly, enjoyed this it was like a creamsicle type of scent and i was sad to know that i had gotten through this didn't even realize that i had sprayed that much of it to now it's empty so this kind of made me sad that i got through this one but i truly enjoyed it while i had it another shocker princess from killian now i told you guys that i felt like i was the last person on earth who had sniffed this because every time i saw it in sephora i was like okay and this was in the old packaging it had the little ball and like the cube at the bottom, 
I don't know why I never gravitated towards those bottles or even wanting to try and sniff it, but I didn't until they repackaged it. And so I was like, oh, she's giving marshmallowy goodness. Okay, pretty girl marshmallowy goodness. So I picked up the bottle and sure enough, I got through this bottle, y'all. I am sad about this. I love this scent. This is one of my favorites from the house. So unfortunately, there is no more. There's no more to go around. So Princess said, bye-bye. Okay, this one really shocked me, okay? It really shocked me because I was low-key, high-key talking smack about this one. I didn't understand it. But once I gave it a little time, I was like, okay, okay, the hype might be real, y'all. God of fire. This was another one. I went, picked up the bottle, started to spray. I'm like, hold up. Say it ain't so, but this is completely gone. And I devastated about this. Crazy, right? Devastated. I was like, I don't understand the hype, but I understood after a while. I understood y'all. This is a banger. Oh, this is so good. So good. And this devastated, devastated that I went through this as quick as I did. Okay. Now, while this one caused devastation, must therapy from initio caused sadness, almost depression. Y'all know I am a lover of musk, okay? Musk 12 from Kayali is another one that I absolutely love, but for whatever reason, the 100 mil bottle is MIA. Like, what's happening? Did y'all discontinue it, Kayali? Let me know. Let us just know, please, okay? But in the meantime, in between time, <laughs> I had must therapy to hold it down. Hold it down. P.O.P. Hold it down. Okay. I didn't even know that I was spraying it the way that I was spraying it. But when I tell you, I absolutely love this musk. And this is a musk that performs. It has some fruity elements to it. Y'all, this is a beauty of a musk fragrance. It's another one that's expensive. It ain't cheap. Okay. So I was... So sad, low-key depressed that I went through this, wasn't expecting it. I know the benefit of having opaque bottles, it protects the juice, um, it stays fresher longer, but we've got to have a compromise on being able to have some transparency so we can see and monitor our juices better. Because had I known that I was down to like my last few, I would have savored it, okay? I would have savored the flavor. But here we are. I have two other fragrances no i have three other fragrances that i've gone through but i think i'm going to share that in my next video so stay tuned for part two which is everything that i've since added to my collection plus the other three that i'm talking about so until the next time you guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one bye